going on fellow synth nerds? This is Matt Saletti back with another dub spot tutorial for machine. Today we are going to talk about creating these huge instruments by layering multiple VSTs inside a machine. Um, so we're going to take something like Massive, Razor, FM8, create one huge patch and uh, trigger it all and sequence it all inside machine. So it's one of the things that I used to love to do in Core 2. Now that a lot of Core 2's functionality is being put in machine, this is something that you can easily uh, manipulate and use to create these big, fat, cool sounds. So check this one out. All right, so the goal is here. We are going to create this huge, electro-sounding, big, fat, synth lead kind of sound. And to do it, I'm going to use a couple plugins. So first thing I want to do is I'm actually going to adjust my tempo to about 132. I'm going to hit record. This will bring in my first pattern. So I know I want the pattern to be eight bars. I'm just going to double it twice. Navigate. Remember, we can use the navigate button to actually zoom in. I'll even close the browser so we can see what we're doing. And let's see what our uh, timeline is here. Perfect. All right. First thing we're going to do is load up Massive. So Massive is going to be one of the bases for this sound. And I'm going to use just presets here. It'll make things easier. Vintage Lead 2, one of my favorites. And just like in Core 2, a lot of these features are being implemented inside a machine now. I basically don't even have to MIDI assign anything. Everything is showing up right on the machine controller. I just start turning knobs. Beautiful. That's exactly how I want the sound to start. All right, so close my GUI there, and we are going to just hit Shift Record to get a one bar count in, and we're going to record the line. Perfect. All right. So next thing I want to do, we're going to load in another sound now. So we're going to do some overdubbing. And I know I want something with a little more low end. So I'm going to use a kind of a bass preset. And what better synth to use than something like Razor. Amazing sounding basses here. I'm going to load in a preset that's going to give it some nice low end to combine with. So let's check out some of these. Oh, that's perfect. All right, let me turn this glide down. I don't need so much of that. I really like that quick, snappy attack like that. All right, so if we want to layer these, all I have to do is now come down here and make sure this paint option is turned off. If it's on and I use my mouse inside of the pattern editor, it's actually going to record notes. I want it off so I can actually just select all the notes and then from the machine controller, I'm gonna hold down shift, copy, paste. So now it just bumps it over there and all we do is drag it down to Razor and let's hit play and see what it sounds like. Very cool, way heavier, um, except it's a lot of sound going on. So one thing we wanna do is let's kind of just focus this a little better. So I'm going to bring a filter on the Massive. I'm going to make this a high-pass filter. I don't need all low-end because Reactor is actually um, taking care of that for me. Perfect. And I'm going to do the same on Reactor, actually bringing a filter, except leave this one low-pass. Just enough to get that quick uh, filter envelope attack. So Excellent. So we have the two right there. Let's go add a third. I have an idea where I want more of like a, a belly, maybe a digital sounding thin for the top. Uh, FM synthesis is perfect for that. And actually FM8 is the perfect synth for FM synthesis. So 
I'm going to choose a synth that's digital. Let's find a lead and let's uh, let's find a bright lead actually. Let's try some here. So we can go in, have it highlighted again, copy and paste again, and let's drag this down to FM8 now. Let's hear what it sounds like. There's a lot going on there. I'm going to just solo FM8. And what's cool here is I can go in and, uh, you know, check through different presets here. I really like this one. We're going to go with him. And of course, I can go in with machine from the controller here. Let's tweak some knobs. That's great. That's actually nice and sharp right there. So we're going to unsolo, play it back. Again, it's a little bit much. So what I'm going to do with FM8 is actually, I don't need it covering the same octave range that Massive and Reactor are. So I'm going to go in and again with the shift button from the machine controller. I'm just going to go in and raise the octave up. Try it one more time, actually. Perfect. That's like pretty huge right the way I want it. Now, one thing to note here, if you are using a keyboard controller, everything I'm playing is only focused on the one sound you have selected on machine. So if I select Razor, or uh, massive. It's only playing that, and that is a design for machine. It's it's purposely meant to work that way. Like if I was to load up a drum kit and I had the snare selected, the snare would be instantly transposed across my controller keyboard, and that's a function of machine. It's supposed to be like that, um, so you're not going to be able to play it like that from the keyboard and have all three of these synths triggered. However, you can come in with the machine controller. And you come right here to the, mine says keyboard because I have such an old machine, but um, most will say pad mode. And so once we have it in pad, you have this thing called link group. It's called a uh, pad link. So you can actually have one pad trigger multiple pads. So on the massive pad, we're going to turn it on to link group one. And I'm going to have this set as master. If we come to razor, link group one, and set this one to slave actually. Same thing with FM8. So now when I come back to Massive, it's triggering that huge sound if I put it in the keyboard mode. There it is, easily able to be re-triggered and re-sequenced however you like. So one last thing to note, we just did all this work. Obviously we're going to come in here and save this. I'm going to call this one huge lead and save and then remember we can come back in our groups and then anytime search for huge there it is blam let's pick a new group and just double click and it's going to load up so i didn't do all this hard work for nothing i'm gonna be able to use this lead any other time i want and we're going to come in it's going to load up and i can use it in my song next week <laughs> Awesome. So hope you enjoyed this. Uh, go mess with it on your own. Please try to make some ginormous leads. And always remember to check us out at dubspot.com. Tons of online courses, tons of courses in the school, plenty of things to get your learn on. So thanks for watching. Check you out later. Welcome to Dubspot. We believe in providing you hands-on experience right away. Whether you're completely new to music and want to turn the sounds in your head into a musical reality, or you're an experienced artist looking to refine your skills and add new tools to your arsenal, we're ready to meet you at your level. For students of all ages, all levels, and all styles of music, DubSpot is here to help you achieve your goals. With course offerings both online wherever you are and at our school in the heart of New York City, we are ready to guide you through the next phase of your musical transformation. 
Whether you want to produce music, DJ, or do both, you've come to the right place. Come explore DubSpot for yourself. Become a part of our community and make music.